To other news now, the Inspectorate and the Professional Standards Oversight Bureau is investigating the origin of a photo involving two members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force carrying high-powered weapons at a wedding reception in St. James. But as Anthony Logg now reports, at least one security consultant believes there could be implications. This is the image which sparked much debate on social media over the weekend. A bride and a groom kissing while holding an assault rifle and a handgun. TBJ News has since learned that both are members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Head of the JCF's Corporate Communications Unit, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, says the matter is the subject of an internal investigation. We are confirmed that we have seen the video and um, it has been, it's, it's now the subject of an investigation. So I probe is looking at the, at the video and is expected to provide a report at the end of it. The image has also caught the attention of security consultant Robert Finzi Smith, who believes there are several questions to be answered. Chief among them are the weapons property of the JCF. And if what I've just asked, the last question, is in the affirmative, when were they issued, for what purpose were they issued, and how did they end up at the wedding? Mr. Finzi argues that if these weapons are in fact the property of the JCF, it would have been signed for by a member on duty. If it was that someone else signed for the weapon and handed this over to one of the persons in the photo, would they? All parties are implicated in improper use of weaponry. You are a serving member who has legitimately signed out a weapon and you hand it to me to take a photograph. Um, I don't know what would constitute a proper use of my having the weapon considering you signed it out. So, as the image continues to cause several debate, the country will also be awaiting the outcome of the investigation being carried out by the Inspectorate and Professional Standards Oversight Bureau. And we all make mistakes. Um, I sincerely hope that they are in a position to learn from this one. I wish them both all the best in their married life and their future in the Jamaica Constabulary Force and that they are in a position to tell other people not to do in the future. Anthony Log, TVJ News.